Today I'll be demonstrating the first two labs that are included with the Freescale Tower Board. Both of these labs are home security demos with Ethernet capabilities. The first lab uses a Telnet for an output of the data, and the second lab has a web page. Uh, once you receive your tower board, you want to make sure you install the Code Warrior 6.2 software, along with the MQX RTOS that are both included in the tower kit. After you have those both installed, then you can begin making connections with the tower board. Now, to begin with, uh, we'll need the Ethernet cable connection. Um, then we'll move on to the serial cable since we're using the Telnet. And finally, the USB for both power and debug. And with the tower board, there are three USB connections. One on the MCF51CN board, one on the serial board, and one on the functional elevator board. All of these will power the board, but we need to use the MCF51CN as that's where the OSBDM is for programming. So we make those connections. Your tower board should power up, and now we're ready to start Code Warrior and begin the programming. Now that we're ready to begin programming, we have Code Warrior open. Uh, you want to make sure you open your Code Warrior version 6.2. Since we're using the MQX RTOS, it's too large for the free version. You'll need either the 30-day trial version of Code Warrior or um, the basic purchased version at least. Now we'll go into File and Open. Um, the first one is the Telnet demo, which is located under C, Program Files, Freescale, Freescale MQX 3.2, Demo, Security underscore Telnet, Code Warrior, and then it's the .mcp file. If you double click that, um, we'll want to ensure that this is, your target is set at select Telnet OSBDM, not the, PA, the PEBDM, and the debug init flash here on the top. And if you expand the source file and double click on security.h, you can see what the IP address is that we're programming into the board. For this one, the default is 169.254.3.3. Uh, and the subnet mask down below here is 255.255.0.0. This should communicate with your PC. However, if you have problems, um, you can change your connections. Um, if you right-click your local area connection, change the properties of the TCP IP, force it to 169.254.3.4, um, then you should be able to communicate properly with the tower board. Once we have all those settings done, we want to make the file so everything's compiled, and then click your debug button, and I want to stop the current application. Now it's, you will get an error asking you if you want to mass erase the memory. Go ahead and click OK, and it will mass erase the board, and then begin programming the Telnet demo onto the tower board for us. So take a moment, and once this is programmed, then your true time simulator is open here. Once this is open, all you need to do is click the little green arrow for the run button, and then you can minimize this. And next we need to open a command prompt. In the command prompt, you'll type in telnet space 169.254.3.3. Hit enter, and now we have communication with the tower board. To see what the commands are, you want to type help in here, and we get a list of available commands. Uh, the first one is the status, which just shows us the current status of the board. Shows us uh, the door is closed, the window is closed, there's no movement, and the garage door or the potentiometer is 80% open, and it's been running for 35 seconds. If you hold down switch two and type in status again, now we'll see that the door is open. If you hold down switch one, excuse me, switch three and type in status, now we'll see that the window is detected as open. And if we change the potentiometer on the board, either way, then it changes the percentage of the door is open. 
um, go back to help here to see the rest of the commands, there's a display log that keeps a running log of the last 10 events. If we take the board and shake it for a few seconds, then put in the display log, you'll see when the motion started and stopped. And this one goes back far enough to show uh, when I was opening and closing some of the doors. Um, there's also the ability to turn the LEDs on and off. You type in LED on, space, and then the LED number. If you put in LED on one, you'll see LED one turns on. And then you can do LED off and space and the LED number, and it'll switch that off. That works for the first three LEDs on the board. Um, and uh, so there's the Telnet demo that you can easily run off of the tower board um, with what comes in the kit. If you type in exit then when you're finished, uh, it'll terminate the connection on that, uh, the Telnet connection. And now we'll go on to the second demo, this one using the interactive web page. We'll need to open the web server software or the web server demo. This one's located if you go to file and open. This time it's C, program files, freescale, freescale MQX 3.2, demo. This time we'll go into the security underscore web server and then code warrior. And then again, it's the .mcp file. Um, again, make sure it's the OSBDM uh, debug as opposed to the PEBDM. Um, once again, under your source file, there's a security.h. Uh, same thing shows you the IP address that we're going to be programming the board with. We'll want to run the make command to compile everything. And then our debug button. We get the same warning about mass erasing the memory. Go ahead and click OK for the flash mass erase. It'll erase the flash and now we'll be loading the code onto the board. This one takes a bit with the, because it's actually loading the web page onto the board itself. And this is loading. Now we'll get our true time simulator again. Um, same thing, we click the green arrow to start running and then we can minimize. Instead of a command prompt, now we need a Internet Explorer. Go ahead and open up either Firefox or Internet Explorer of your choice and type in the 169.254.3.3 and there we have the web page that's been loaded onto the board. You can see it shows the status here in real time of the door, the window, the uh, motion detection, the garage door. And then down below, we actually have a log. Uh, it'll keep in real time as well. So this time, if we push switch to, in real time, you'll see the time when the door opened. When I release switch to, you'll see the time it closed. Push switch three, the window shows open, and the time release and it shows when it was closed and then the trim pot for the garage door as you adjust that you'll see in real time that it changes the percentage of your garage door either open or closed and then this time with the motion as you begin shaking the board it will show you when the motion starts and then when you set it down it shows when the motion stopped so those are the first two demos that come with the freescale tower board